All right, we uh, we're going to try and patch uh, that again uh, here. Rahul Srivastava as well joining us live for more on that. Rahul, uh, Rajdeep is with us. He just mentioned how, uh, as, as seemingly as it may appear to be a unanimous decision, many of the leaders in Gujarat have now been taken by surprise. Uh, they weren't uh, expecting an announcement like this. Bhupendra Patel, who's a first-time MLA, uh, ha has been uh, in the administ have taken up administrative roles in the past, but as an elected representative has won only once uh, with a record margin nonetheless but there are several senior leaders who are in the running so <laughs> Bhupendra Patel, who just spoke on stage now, assuring that he will ensure uh, the party's victory, he will ensure to do, give his best, put all his efforts. Uh, for the BJP party's uh, success in the upcoming polls. That's more or less what I could grasp. Let me cut across to Rahul Srivastava. Rahul, Bhupendra Patel just spoke. Uh, of course, he is now the new Chief Minister of Gujarat. We understand that Vijay Rupani has, um, you know, suggested his name. But this has come as a surprise for many other senior leaders within Gujarat. They did not expect Bhupendra Patel to be announced as the new chief minister. There were several other front runners, senior leaders who've been very loyal, have won multiple times in their constituency. But here's the first time MLA from Gatlodia, who has now been named as the chief minister of Gujarat. A big role, big shoes to fill in. Uh, give us his credentials, please. Nabila, it is a surprise, but if you look at what Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the BJP have done even in uh, Uttarakhand, it's an indication that a new set of leaders are being brought in, uh, one very clearly, not with a very strong... All right, I'm, uh, apologies, I'm going to cut across to Vijay Rupani who's addressing uh, the audience there. <laughs> All right, we've, we've lost that yet again. Okay, uh, Rahul, please go on. Yes, Amila, as I was saying, a new set of leaders who do not belong to any political lobbies in a state, who do not have very deep mass uh, base in the states, largely being propped up, one age being a factor that he is just 59 and can be called a leader for tomorrow, also does not cause many upsets because he's clearly a choice of Delhi, not that he is the choice of the MLAs of the state of the BJP. That means he will be more seen as somebody who will be delivering on the vision and proposals of Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the BJP top brass in Gujarat. Now, what are the challenge? Uh, challenge is that in 2017, for the first time, the BJP's numbers fell below the 100 mark after a very long time in the 182 assembly uh, in Gujarat. Now, the BJP had actually lost 17 seats and one of the direct beneficiaries was the Congress party with 16 seats. In that scenario, what had also happened that the BJP lost ground in rural Gujarat very badly. Out of the <coughs> 109 seats in rural Gujarat, the Congress walked away with 65 odd and that was the warning sign. Right from the first day, Mr. Rupani was supposed to be a stopgap arrangement and perhaps likely to last only till two and a half years. But then Corona happened and he added to his own uh, negatives perception about him that he didn't handle uh, Corona very well. In that scenario, uh, what was being said, a Patel 
uh, from the strong Patidar community was likely to be chief minister. Mr. C. R. Patil, who is the state president, very close to the prime minister, had indicated that the next chief minister should be from the Patel community, given the heft of the Patel community vote in Gujarat. The names which are doing the names were Mr. Nitin Patel and also Praful uh, Khodabai Patel. But by picking somebody like Mr. Bhupend Patel, the BJP has indicated a new set of leaders is coming in. Interestingly, he has been part of development bodies like the AUDA and the Municipal Corporation in Ahmedabad. But what is important is that he is a trustee of the Patidar organizations like the Sardar Dham and the Vish Umiya Foundation. That makes it perhaps very critical that how the BJP is now very solidly backing the Patel vote. What it is looking for is somebody who has a hold over the Patel organizations. It may not be a political heavyweight, but somebody who is a stronghold as far as the Patel vote and Patel demography is concerned. But, Nabila, I will say that there is one very interesting political element which should not be ignored or which should be highlighted. That in 2017, sometime when, uh, at the time before 2017, when Anandi Payne uh, demitted office and her seat was to be filled in. This seat was uh, Anandi Bain's choice and Anandi Bain uh, picked up Mr. Bhupendra Patel. At that time, Home Minister Amit Shah, who is now the Home Minister, but at that time he was not, he is the one who was opposed to this decision. Given the rivalry between Amit Shah and Anandi Bain Patel, Mr. Bhupendra Patel being picked up does indicate that it could well be that Amit Shah could not may, may not be totally on board as far as decision is concerned and this decision could well be the prime minister's call so what can be said is that it is possible that it is completely prime minister narendra modi who has taken a call as far as the next chief minister is concerned and the role of several other top brass as far as the bjp is concerned could be much lesser given the fact that when anandi ben patel had moved out uh, people like Amit Shah had, were not very keen on somebody like Mr. Bhupendra Patel. Well, Bhupendra Patel it is. He is now the new Chief Minister of Gujarat. Stay with us, uh, Rahul. Uh, here you have Bhupendra Patel right after the announcement.